Good morning! Well, today the video topic is going to be one of my favorites, and that is furniture DIYs. And some of these have some really cool hidden features that uh, I'm very excited to show you. So, uh, yeah, let's start taking a look at some furniture. Um, starting with this one here. Man, I think this is a absolutely beautiful piece. Um, just the proportions of it are really great. It's very elegant. Look at these really thin legs with those little uh, bumps at the bottom. The wood grain I think is beautiful. Look at that on the drawer. It's really great. The top has the same. I call it a, um, a DIY because it does have a, little, a few condition issues, but this one also has some really, really cool features as well. Um, I think probably many of you have already guessed that uh, this is a sewing machine. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's got a sewing machine cabinet. This actually is not a drawer, speaking of hidden features. It's a uh, one of these things. I don't know what those are called, <laughs> but still really, really cool. Um, I love the... Uh, the handle on it as well um, and then another cool feature on this one so yeah as you can see um the top lifts up so you can get to the uh the sewing machine i don't know if the sewing machine works um but for 75 bucks um i think even just buying it for the cases is, is cool uh, but yeah one um really great thing so uh when you lift that up so this um expands the workspace um and this one has a really cool feature in that it's got a little support that really unless you're looking for it i didn't notice it at first you just pull this little lever <clears throat> you just pulled a little. <laughs> One second, I think you have to do this first. Oh my gosh! There it goes. You just pulled a little lever, and it comes out. And then this, uh, yeah, this will rest on it. This is in the way, so it won't, it won't go down. But yeah, it's got a little support, which I think is really, really neat. Um, some cool features. Um, and that goes in like that. I maybe mean, you have to like push up on it. Or maybe the the the, the uh, this has to be open. Um, either way, yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, really beautiful piece, really great proportions. And again, that's uh, seventy five bucks. Uh, across from it, this one here. This is only thirty five bucks. It is a very large cabinet. There are so many things you can do with this. I think um, it's got these really great doors. Um, I guess this is a hidden feature in that this does not is not stationary. It pops out with the uh, left door, and the inside is really a blank canvas. Um, it's got this uh, outlet cover here in the middle. There's nothing behind it. Um, it is missing a drawer on the left. And this one has some uh, issues. <laughs> but for 35 bucks, man, all you creative people, I think you could really come up with some really great um, storage solutions for this. I really think the depth is really great. It doesn't have a back to it right now, so you could add one or you don't have to, I suppose. Uh, but a lot of space to work with. Um, so yeah, I think that's super cool. I um, mean, it's got these, this is how it keeps close with those buttons and the, ta-da. So yeah, 35 bucks, great deal. This one next to it, um, I don't know how much of a DIY this is, but I think this table is really great. I love the round shape. I love that, um, it's very simple apron. And then how the, uh, um, the legs rise up and interrupt the apron to hit the top. Just a very simple design, but uh, I think it's really pretty. Um, it is a little bit wobbly, um, so maybe that makes it a DIY. Um, and I was thinking earlier, gosh, it's a shame we don't have the leaf, but I think it's one of those automatic leafs. It's uh, it attached, so you just have to split the table apart, and then uh, this can rise up to extend. So that's kind of convenient. Uh, that one is $145. Down here, this guy. Man, this is um, only 65 bucks. And I think there's a lot you could do with it. Um, I think painting it would be awesome because I think these uh, um, details would really pop out. Again, like the um, cabinet down there, the centerpiece uh, comes out with the left side drawer. Um, and this one has a drawer already. Um, functions pretty well. Um, and then, yeah, a uh, storage space at the bottom. So another one that I think you could do a lot of cool stuff with. Um, and again, 65 bucks. So uh, really great price over here okay so the next one i'm gonna cheat a little bit i don't know how much uh, um of uh hidden features it has but it's so beautiful look at this dresser isn't that great it is only 45 bucks maybe the hidden feature is it has a dark stain so you really at first uh, glance can't see all of the details but look at this this is my favorite this is a great it's kind of a chevron design but it's almost like scales too it's got this uh it's, it's really pleasant to run your fingers over, so <laughs> you'll have to either take my word for it or uh, 
<laughs> come visit the warehouse and check it out. Um, this one does need, a, I think, a good amount of work. The uh, the uh, hardware is not so great. There's some uh, damage to the bottom drawer on the left. But man, for 45 bucks, I think it'd really be worth it. It would, uh, yeah. I think there's a lot of ways to make it shine, really. It's a beautiful piece. A lot of great little features. I love the feet, too. They kind of um, continue the fluting from the sides. Yeah, really great. Uh, next to it, this one. I guess you could say uh, that the uh, it does have a hidden feature, though it's uh, pretty well known. It is a writing desk. So you just got to pull this down, and that extends the desk out. It's got some cubbies in the back, a drawer. Um, I think this hardware... Um, is a little too flimsy for it. Maybe, maybe it just needs to be better attached, but I think it could uh, definitely use a companion on this side. Um, I'm propping it up with my knee. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's got a little piece of glass for the writing surface. Um, and speaking of glass, the glass is missing on the, uh, the right side door. Um, and it's also missing the, uh, the bottom part of the, the door itself. So I guess, you know, you could either repair that. Um, it still has the insert, which is nice because matches that side. That's what it's supposed to look like. So you can either repair that or I'm guessing you could probably, um, well, I was going to say you can remove the, the doors completely, but then this top part would overhang a little. Well, you know, you could figure it out. <laughs> There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. It's only 85 bucks, so um, a lot of uh, um, room to be creative. And then three, three doors down at the bottom. And on this one over here, so... Uh, Kind of give it away with the first thing I showed you. This is also a, uh, um, uh, oh shoot, a sewing machine cabinet. But the design of this one, I think, is beautiful. To me, it kind of seems like uh, um, almost like mission style with these legs that kind of flare out slightly. And then check out the hardware. Isn't that great? So yeah, really, really cool. Uh, that the, uh, um, the sewing machine is on the inside. Uh, to me, I don't know anything about sewing machines, but to me, it looks, um, it looks old. <laughs> so yeah, this flips up and then the sewing machine would flip out like this. Um, I, again, I don't know if it works, um, but I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be cool to, uh, uh, whether you leave this piece in or not, um, it'd be really cool to just put a piece of glass in here and use this as um, a bar or a sideboard because, man, if you have a small space, same thing with the one that's over there. If you have a small space, it's really great to have furniture that, uh, can uh, um, metamorphize, <laughs> uh, transform, let's say that. <laughs> uh, this one's cool too, because it has the remains of a uh, um, uh, a ruler. Uh, but yeah, just kind of neat. If you put glass in there, it'd be cool that you could still use it as a, a cabinet, but uh, it would still give you a clue as to what it used to be. Um, and that is 45 bucks. Yeah, really cool design on that one as well. And then over here, this one, the hidden um, feature, I think this is really beautiful, by the way. Make a really great console table. Uh, maybe you can put it behind a chair or another piece of furniture that's in the middle of a room. In an entryway, it would be great. Um, I think you could leave it as is. There are some chips in the, um, in the intricate part at the bottom, uh, but it would look really great uh, painted a color as well, I think. I really love these poles, these kind of like drop drops. This one is loose because I feel like everybody does what I do and it goes tries to open this. It's not actually, it's not actually a door, it's not going to open. So this part here, as you can see, the two doors are on the sides. Um, but yeah, really cool design, I think. Um, the, the storage goes all the way through. And uh, yeah, just a really great shape. Really beautiful doors. I love the hardware. This one might need to be reattached. Probably because of me, sorry. <laughs> and this is only 75 bucks, so uh, a great start for a project. So... And that is just some of the furniture that we have in the warehouse. We've got a lot of stuff to check out. And this is just a one furniture section. We've got two more um, over there and over there. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for furniture, um, come visit the warehouse. We're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. Um, you can see all the ones that I highlighted today um, in person. Uh, we also have furniture listed on our marketplace. And that tends to be furniture that's ready to go. Um, but um, that is communityforklifemarketplace.org. Um, and so yeah, you can check out... Um, some of the stuff there but yeah to see everything come give us a visit so all right well if you have any questions about community forklift whether that's uh, where we are or how you can donate we are a nonprofit. Um, we give free materials to households with limited incomes and also to nonprofits. Um, and then basically our, 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 our mission as well is just to make sure all of this stuff goes to people who need it rather than to the landfill so um so yeah, if you have any questions about whether you can donate how you can donate materials or funds please put them in the comments and uh, I will 
get back to you ASAP. So, all right, thanks for joining. Have a good day.